Welcome to Linux Live Tutorial. I am going to explain about how to install ClamTK in CentOS. ClamTK is a GTK graphical user interface for ClamAV. So ClamAV is an antivirus program for Linux used on Linux system to find and remove the viruses from the system. It is a easy to use, lightweight and on-demand antivirus scanner for Linux systems. It is available for Fedora, CentOS, Debian and Ubuntu. Now we can see the installation of ClamTK in CentOS. Before installing the ClamTK, we need to install some dependency packages. Yum, install, curl, and give enter. And give us to download and install the package. And give us all the packages installed. Next, you need to install the ClamAV. For installing the ClamAV, we need to First install the epil yum install epil icon release and give us to download the package the epil repository package is installed and we can install the clan gav yum install clan gav space clan d and give us to download and install the packages the package is getting downloaded and then it will be installed this will take some time now give us now the clam av tb is getting installed now to start the clam av service you need to use the following command service clam d start now the clam av service is started now we can install the clam tk you can download the ClamTK package from the ClamTK official site. You can download it using the wget command. Wget. Now the download link. Now the package is downloaded. Now we can install the ClamTK. M. Local install. The package name. And give us to download and install the other dependency packages. Now the clamp tk is installed. Now to open the clamp tk, you can use the following command clamp tk and give enter. Now the clamp t application is opened. Now you can see the message the antivirus signatures are outdated. Now to update the antivirus signatures, you can first close the virus scanner. Now we can update the virus database using the following command fresh clam now give enter now you can see the clam av update process started this will take some time now the virus database signatures are updated now we need to restart the clam d service service clam d restart now the clam d service is restarted now we can open the clam tk clam tk now we can see there is no error message here. Now the clamp TK virus scanner is open. Now you can scan your system for finding and removing the viruses. Here you can see the configuration of the clamp TK. First is the settings. Here you can use the following options. If you want to scan the directories recursively, you can tick this. And if you want to scan files larger than 20 MB, you can use this option and you can also scan your hidden files by enabling this option and here's the whitelist here you can add your directories and files which you don't want to scan using the virus scanner and in the and in the network configuration if you're using the proxy server you can enable this by setting the ip the scheduler you can schedule your virus scan in the history you can view the previous scan history on the quarantine you can see the infected files here you can see the update is to update your antivirus signatures change the signature update preference if you want to automatically receive updates you can choose the first option if you want to update on your own that is manually you can use the second option and in the analysis, 
you want to scan a file you can use the first option if you want to scan the directories you can use the scanner directory and you can choose the directory that you need to scan the clamtk is successfully installed in centos thank you for watching